Good morning, First Coast. I'm Jessica Stewart. I'm Randy Dew. And these are this week's announcements. The Lord's Supper is a reminder of what Jesus did in the past, a symbol of our present relationship with Him, and a promise of what He will do in the future. Join us tonight at 5 p.m. as we partake the elements. Please, make note that there will be no Life University classes tonight. Parents of First Coast Youth, tonight, after the Lord's Supper, we will be meeting in the youth room to discuss in-depth details about our ministry. This is for parents of students in the 6th through 12th grade. That's tonight in the youth room, directly following the Lord's Supper. Don't you, and by the way, folks, don't you love to have fun? I mean, don't you love to come to church and actually enjoy being here? Don't you love to come and be able to stay awake? So this mean lady, she says, I'll tell you right now, mister. If I were your wife, I'd put poison in your coffee. Set it in front of everybody. I said, if I was your husband, I'd drink it. I ain't like, yeah. had a fight the other day. My, my wife's ready to throw my underwear away. She said, you've had these since we got married, and they still work. You don't throw, you don't throw a man's underwear away. The women make an event out of shopping for underwear. You know that? They have stores for that. Women just go shop for underwear together. You know what? They never make money on a man. We hold on to them underwear till it's nothing but just an elastic band with a few little strings hanging on and one little fruit of the loom guy hanging on for dear life. This is awful. This is spoiled. This is her. This is awful. Taste this. Is it true that girls go to bathroom in herds? Is that true? Sylvia, Maxine, and I are going to the restroom. There's a group of us. There's plenty of room. Why don't you come on? There's several of us are going. I mean, honestly. Hey, Delbert. Earl and I was getting a group of us together. We're going over here to the toilet. And by the way, folks, it is a lot easier for me to believe that in the beginning God created than for me to believe that all of these cells in our body and all of these organs that operate like a well-oiled machine just came together through a series. You know, it's like saying an explosion in a printing factory came all together one day to become Webster's Dictionary. It makes about that much sense. That's it for this week's announcements. You can check out these and all others in your weekly bulletin.